All right, so the question is from Mr. Matthew Stanislaw. I had a great trade yesterday. Nice, congratulations, that's awesome. How do you stay grounded when on a streak? That is a really, really good question. I know getting cocky will eventually get me burned. Uh, yes, okay. Um, yeah, so this is where a lot of people, including myself, get tripped up. Um, because obviously when you're having good results, that is a good thing. And what happens when you have a good thing that, you know, that happens within your life? Well, you typically get happy. And a lot of the time you can get carried away, especially if it is, you know, early on in your career. And, um, and it's like, you're, you know, you're going on a streak and you think, oh shit, I'm, I'm infallible. Like I can't be stopped. I'm going to make, I'm, I'm a fucking professional trader. Now I'm making all the money. I'm a billionaire kajillionaire. Well, Fair enough, you know, that's, that's, a, that's, you know, that's a fair plan. But the problem is, is that what actually made your trade successful? Well, the, what made your trade successful was following whatever setups that you had to find in your trading plan, assuming that you had one. So I'm making an assumption here, but I happen to know you and I happen to know that you've been around this channel for a while now. So I suspect that you probably have very, very likely. So that means you've filled out something resembling maybe even the exact same one as a trade checklist on this channel, which is 100% free. You can view it at any moment in time. You can also, you know, make your own, but you basically have a strategy that's been back tested over time with, you know, at least 50 to 100 iterations, the more the better. And you have a history with statistics that support that that strategy will work. Okay, so let's say you have that, which I'm going to assume that you do. And let's say that whatever strategy you're running has a 69% chance to win because that's a great number. And that's actually a pretty fucking good strategy, in my opinion. Anyways, okay. So what does that imply? It implies that, well, 31% of the time you will naturally lose. So statistically speaking, even though you had a streak, it is inevitable that you will at some point have some losses. So while it is, you know, good to let yourself enjoy the results, what you should really get happy about or what you should really be motivated by or what you should really be disciplined to do is to follow the strategy. Because what happens is when you start to let yourself get carried away by emotions, whether they be good or bad, which most people have the problem on the other side when they have a losing streak, right? When they have a losing streak, but on the other side with a winning streak, it's the exact same problem, just the other side of the coin. And what happens when you get carried away, emotionally speaking, is that you start to maybe shut down and veer away from your strategy, you know, the one that was actually giving you these results. And then you start to do something that is outside of your strategy. And when you start to do that, then you start to fuck with the statistics of what is actually happening. So at that point, you can no longer trust in the statistical narrative that you set up with your strategy. And you can expect that over a longer period of time, things will probably not work out. You know, maybe you just create a new strategy anyways, and then you back to that. That's a different, that's, that's a whole different thing. But I'm coming at this from the uh, perspective of you've had some good gains. Now you want to protect them. And how do you protect them? You protect them by following the strategy over over a long period of time. And then you can obviously feel your emotions. I'm not saying that you can't have emotions because obviously we're human beings. We're going to naturally. It's just going to fucking happen. That's just the way that we're set up. It's our biology. It's 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 inevitable. It is it is literally inevitable. But what will define you as a professional trader and as more importantly, a successful trader, which is even more important than being a professional trader, is that you are able to feel that emotion, but still do what you were going to do anyways. So I always like to make the analogy with going to the gym, because I think most people can probably relate to this. Let me just turn down the volume here for a second here. God damn, that is loud. Um, and, uh, and a lot of people can relate to go to the gym. And when you're going to the gym, what do you need to do? Well, you need to have some sort of a workout plan and also nutrition plan as well, but we're just gonna, you know, size up that for now. And when you go to the gym, what do you feel on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, sure, some days you're gonna be like, oh shit, you're looking in the mirror, you're like, man, I'm fucking strong today. My biceps are looking big. I look like Z's, so this is great. Uh, <laughs> Elsa thinks that's funny. Uh, I look like chest bra, so I'm powerful. And, uh, and finally, the girls are going to like me. Well, that's great. That's fucking great. And that can maybe motivate you to go to the gym more. But on some days, you're naturally maybe not going to get enough sleep. Or you might just have a bad day. Maybe someone in your family died. Maybe you had like a serious life situation that puts you in a very, very bad headspace. At that point, you no longer have motivation, you no longer have good emotions, but you can still cultivate the discipline to continue and follow that plan. That's what you have to do in trading and understand that those emotions, they're inevitable, they're gonna happen. Yes, at some, you know, over a long enough period of time, they will, you know, naturally somewhat subside and you can identify them better and kind of, you know, just work with them. But it's 
feeling the emotion and then not falling into the the behavioral pattern of that emotion that is going to make you successful over time so if you can do that then you know yeah let yourself get happy that's great i, I mean you know enjoy the times when you have a smile on your face Ob obviously life is short right but but understand that the second that you let that influence your decisions, that's when you can no longer expect that your results will be you know, good any longer. So hopefully that was uh, in some way helpful and hopefully that addressed your, uh, your question.